They just put out an announcement to say, at the end of May, everyone's going to be required to create a PlayStation account to play their PC game that's on Steam. In their defense. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm old man Vin, here in the uh, downtown studio. Here in the downtown Athens, they are connected and joining me from Toronto land, Jordan Swang. And the man right below him on the little monitor that you can't see, but I'm pointing at things that actually exist. It's one Pedro Mateus. Pedro Pedro together with you. <laughs> Shot Realm <laughs> Dynamic, helping us form that sexy beast. That is cocaine. Voltron, what's up? What's you were talking in the pre-show, man. I did the exercising. Now, I jog every day, except for... You know, today. Not a problem. I'm in good shape. Maybe you do this stuff too. You exercise just a little bit. Messed me up, man. Messed me up. I was hobbling around the house. I just did some squats. I wouldn't even really exercise. I was like, let's see what I can do and feel comfortable. I didn't even get a towel, Jordan, to put around the bar. That's how little weight I had on. <laughs> do you use a towel on your bar? No. Why not? Too good for it? Do you uh, like having I, those imprints? I need the center knurling to grip onto my back. Because otherwise the weight will slide off because I am incredibly sweaty. You ever thought about just shaving that part of your back though? <laughs> no. Get that skin contact? I, it already gets plenty of skin contact. I have like a little groove where there's like some chunks missing. I had the opposite thing to you this week because I started doing I started doing like more like active cardio because I don't I don't I, I, I walk around a bunch, but I don't like I, I hopped on a, uh, like a uh, air bike and I did like 15 minutes of that and like. Holy shit, that, that shit is miserable. I'm fine with like sticking a four or five hundred pound barbell on my back, but yeah, make me make me run for like five minutes and like no, no. <laughs> freely choose death. <laughs> it's pretty boring. <laughs> I don't well, know. Well, that. I set up a YouTube video and like for the first like three minutes, mm -hmm. I'm I'm watching it and then for the remaining of it, I'm just trying to dissociate and like close my eyes and like get through it. <laughs> Straight disappear. Uh what Oh man, uh, Pedro Mateus, uh, what's going on over there? Pedro was, uh, go back and listen to the pre pre super shows. And if you're a patron, uh, Pedro will tell you about, uh, his, uh, cardio adventures with monitors and stairs. That, 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 that was a while ago, but yes, no, that, that, that was the last time I did anything even remotely resembling exercise. We had about 300 monitors delivered and, uh, or not the... Pedro's is going to tell you. <laughs> Elevators don't, were don't, broken, don't, don't so get a I had to carry that shit the next don't, cast. don't do it. <laughs> Pedro's just giving it away, pre -pre baby. How yeah. are you doing? <laughs> you hey, want sailor? the rest of the details, you, the... you could go listen to the Now, pre -pre that's a dick show. move. You might as well finish it now. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, actually, this week, I was uh, going through my usual routine of uh, picking up a laptop from the uh, the pile and uh, making sure it still works. Uh, it happened to be the x220 the battery was completely dead so i had to get a just ordered a, okay a do, you, do you pick them up with use. like a little bit of hope thinking to yourself like please don't work <laughs> admittedly there's a little bit of that because if they don't work it's like ooh, i get to play with you for a little longer <laughs> i, I feel like that comic with the plant that's about to die and it's like ah <laughs> finally sweet release and the guy purchases a little water on yeah it. Fi finally remembers <laughs> the water yeah yeah yeah, so uh, I, uh, in the middle of that, found myself uh, playing with uh, Llama 3 <laughs> on DX220, and uh, Strider took offense to that, and uh, the 0.34 tokens a second that I was getting while it was generating an answer. So, uh, yeah, the, the now there's a new command in our uh, Discord, which apparently I fathered, which is the oof command. <laughs> That's, that's it's almost as big an oof as being a crustacean diving into boiling oil. <laughs> that's our mascot now. Sorry, Voltron. That's, that's, that's our that's our fucking spirit animal. <laughs> See you in hell, Helks. It's just fucking cra self-immolating crap. <laughs> Much crispy, dude. Uh, do you think we'll ever be able to convince our horse to jump into a um, vat of uh, uh, molten? Uh, I, I, I think right now the, the horse is leaking some sort of oil. I'm pretty sure it's flammable. We should probably drink it. It's the steam. Well, would you look at that? Look at uh, what? The horse, uh, the horse diving? <laughs> 
Well, uh, I'm sure someone's made a game about horses and diving. Peter's going to be mad at you, Pedro. <laughs> Peter's mad uh, at everyone. Yeah, all the time. yeah the, 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 seriously, just P- find P- Peter something is mad that at themselves. they're not... Yeah, they, 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 they need to ethically treat the human animal that is themselves better. Pedro, tell them, tell them about GeForce Now. But yeah, GeForce Now, you may remember it as uh, the one streaming service that uh, is worth a damn. Uh, unless you're uh, in the Microsoft space, at which point the Game Pass is probably Mateus. pretty good. Uh, it's, Jensen uh, yeah. Mateus. Uh, GeForce Now has the advantage of you use your own existing accounts, like your own Steam account, your own whatever account to play games on the remote machine that NVIDIA is providing you streaming to. And uh, there's been efforts by the community to get that working on the Steam Deck, but this time, this time it's official. Uh, NVIDIA themselves have uh, basically released a script that... uh, basically sets the it's similar to how the um the microsoft uh employee that created the game pass one uh this one just uses regular chrome you can use uh edge too if you'd like uh but yeah it uses either chrome or edge and you set it up uh and it just launches um the it's 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 a bash script that launches a mm-hmm. Python script that actually does your configuration for you. I, I, you I, I dug into the script because I'm like, what is this thing actually doing? Uh, and and that what it, that's what it is. But hey, you know what? Destiny is finally playable on the deck. I'm sure they'll find a reason to still ban you. <laughs> it's like, what's that? You're playing this on a Steam Deck via GeForce now, but still a Steam Deck banned. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, uh... This is going to let you do the thing. I mean, like you said, it's just a browser, but I mean, if it's one click and it's not too bad, but why isn't it in the store though? That, 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 that That's my question. Does NVIDIA need a $100 donation to do this right and put it on the Steam store properly so that people it, don't need to go through the extra steps? Is it technically because it's like a rival competitor store and there's like some principle that NVIDIA people have? I think Valve uh, gives yeah, a yeah, shit yeah, considering how many games. Like, what? Well, yeah. uh, okay, no, no, Val- <laughs> Valve doesn't give a shit. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying about Valve. I'm talking about like some wonk at NVIDIA who's like, no, it's, it's a competitor store. We need to be our own thing. Do you think the leather jacket really cares? <laughs> I think the leather jacket has plans within plans that we can't even conceive of. This is fair, man. Of. I mean, yes, it's not of our world. However, uh, this is this is good though. I mean, if you got a Steam Deck, the, no more futzing around. Really, you do this, and it's kind of auto magic. And if you're a fan of GeForce Now, which I've never fucked around, have, has anybody ever uh, used it? I, I know Strider has. Mm. I used it on my Nvidia Shield tablet back in the day to play a couple of rounds of um, I can't remember Dark Siders. That's the one. How was it? <laughs> how was the technology a decade ago then? Uh, it was surprisingly okay. Like the uh, the delay was noticeable, mm-hmm. but it was completely playable. At least with Dark Siders, it was completely playable. I played all the way to uh, through to the second boss, and then I said, "Yeah, that's okay. I don't like the game that much," and I never touched it again. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. I'm just glad it's there. So that's really the only Steam news we have this week because now we just what? need to get into a new game. Ooh. Yes. Coming spoon. It's not out yet. It is Capes. Capes. Uh, it is a superhero tactical RPG. I'm always down for some superhero XCOM. I, I, I like superhero media. Uh, I'm a fan. This seems to be like, like kind that's of the a XCOM bog, show, bog, bog standard uh, grimdark <laughs> superhero world. But you know what? I'll put up with it for some squares. I love me some squares. Um, but uh, it looks like it's also aping a bit of uh, the Midnight Suns combat because there's like combos that you can do by grinding relationships with other heroes. Um, and that's, that's kind of neat. It does, like I said, it comes out at the end of the month. So I don't know. Uh, the, I, I looked at some of the curators who got early access to it. Yeah. Uh, there was one negative review that said that the, um, that the actual, um, tactic stuff wasn't all that strong. Everyone else seemed to like it, but no, I don't know. Some, don't something know, the, to be the characters aware. look very Fortnite-y that, that I'm looking at the trailer is like, Ooh, uh, either Fortnite has really generic characters so everything can uh, look like Fortnite, or uh, they're exactly. clearly trying to ape that uh, visual style. <laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of like this whole superhero visual style, right? Yeah, uh, that that's the thing. Like, uh, I re- can't remember the name of the MMO, City of Heroes? City of Heroes, <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, uh, because that one had a fairly distinct visual style. Like, it it was still a little bit cartoony. That one was also, like, less overtly grimdark. Like, Chris City Heroes was very purposefully trying to call back to, like, Silver Age comics. This Mm -hmm. seems more like 90s comics, like your Spawns or your your The Maxes. Basically, anything released by, like, Image Comics. Yeah, I mean, this one, I I was looking at it. Like, I don't know enough about the genre other than, like, uh, you know, (laughs) Miss uh yeah yeah that 95 <laughs> percent. so yeah it's XCOM with a bunch of anti-heroes but i mean everybody every one of your characters has a superpower so i guess that's a little different right yeah and and you you can combine them too you can like uh and you, you can, can upgrade them up. yeah all right you so you're your gonna team. need that quad core intel amd or that uh just another quad core. yeah we don't care we're just copy and paste it oh no no 1070 1070 RX, yeah the, the four gpu makes sense yes yeah <laughs> And look, there it is, Midnight Suns, right? 60 bucks. No uh, price what, on what, this. What, what, when is it going to be available, Jordan? Uh, like I said, end of the month, uh, May 29th. Uh, yeah, Midnight Suns. That, that's, that is one that I really want to play, but I also don't want to pay $20 for it. <laughs> no. There's a lot of games that I look at and play. What? Uh, ah. Or, yeah, it, I, 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 was, I was about ready to pull the trigger on, like, It Takes Two, because, like... You were, and, like, I, I hit you back immediately on that, because, like... I know, like, like I, 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 che- I, checked it, I checked it, and it's like, okay, well, it's like, yeah, that, that is the normal sale price. It doesn't seem to be getting any cheaper. I, I, don't, I don't know, like, what's what's the... Where, where is the cutoff of, like... Because I, I, I really do want to play it. I want to try it out. Yeah. So, like, where does the time price axis end on that? For me, it's just right. principle. <laughs> on that game because like ea's like no matter what sell it is summer sale ea sell super sale we're like 15 bucks little man <laughs> i'm like that, that 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 is within range for me i don't know yeah. oh yeah like 15 is where i set the slider if i'm looking for like maybe i just want a random game to pick up like yeah 15 bucks and under 15 is usually a, a good place to be under five that tends to be ooh, i'll just buy that <laughs> yeah sometimes i'll pop it down to five but that's just like is anything i'm just on like you know in the olden days, like a good crazy sale when you would just occasionally run across a game that was like 90% off. You're like, what? It was, okay. it was like a mm-hmm. dollar and you're like, what? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll just buy that That's right how now. I played uh, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl the first time. It's like, ooh, that's four euros. I'll just yeah. buy that. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, yeah. The, the, these days, it, it, it's, it's, a little, it's a little spicier. But thanks, mean, for the, thanks for the hot tip, then. Yeah, dude. Uh, time Too flies, kids. <laughs> you look around and you're getting older and things are changing and dicks. just the tip we're talking about just, dicks just um, the tip. yeah we're back with a new update they at least they are foreskin fury man i'm like wait what okay there's another game based around <laughs> dicks all right sure i, I mean i mean that, that that is just a true statement in general there is another game based around dicks <laughs> are we are we building a uh dickiverse i don't listen, know listen I, I'm, I'm just gonna say snake is not the name the game snake is not actually about snakes okay fine so three years since their last update, what can we say? Well, there's controller support. You can control the um, um, wieners with your decks. Unlocked item screens, networking improvement. Why? Because it's multiplayer. I'm hesitant to even mouse over this. Why? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> my first bit when I saw this was like, to the Twitch bad games list. It's and not on there. I thought it was. Did they have? Mm, I thought have it was. was. Did I just fail at reading? We're we're gonna go check it out. Let's go check out uh, uh, A B C D Gen- genital jousting. No, that's genital jousting, not force confusion. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 I mean, very very similar game, right? Yeah, like because because I, I double checked that. I'm like. A, B, C, D, E, F. There's no F here, huh? Right. I guess, yeah, no, because genital jousting, it's about penises going into the butt of other penises. Uh-huh. So there's, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, these, this is an arena these are just filled candles. with dicks, gentlemen. I mean, <laughs> the, we got, yeah, we these are just dicks dick smacking each other about. It's sword fighting the game. So uh, <laughs> it, it, make, it makes me really want some wasabi fries. <laughs> I think this one's okay, and th- th- they have bots now, so if you're just playing with yourself, you, you have something to do. I-, I do like that they, like, oh, we added an inventory screen, so now you don't have to go in, da- in game to see your decorations. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate dumb games like this. Like, just, just, same thing with, like, general, genital jousting. It yeah. was, uh... Or, it's or always, mount your friends. 
yeah, just mm-hmm. have fun with it. It's a silly game, and like any illusion with the the shit that we see on fucking Twitch, like band video game list, like some of those games, yeah. Like I'm like, all right, yeah, those, yeah. So, so, some some of them are on that list for obvious fucking reasons, right? But like a bunch of goobers flopping around on screen in an arena, I'm like, come on, because <laughs> let, let's be honest, like any any time you want to crack open Steam, just go to the visual novel section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get those uh search recommendations go. <laughs> Can't play them on Twitch though. I'm nope. telling you, man. <laughs> Our DNA. Our DNA is not um DNA that's just you know gone it's, off it's the deep pirate end. DNA. Our yeah, right, DNA. It's not RNA, it's not DNA, it's AMD. Uh <laughs> And uh, apparently they're not doing um, the RDNA 4 Navi 40 desktop GPUs. Apparently those supposedly have been cancelled. Uh, and as far as AMD has uh, forwarded any information, they seem to only be doing the um, Radeon 8000 APU series, not desktop GPUs. But there were some leaks uh, provided in this case from uh, WCCF Tech, uh, where the, they basically go through the, the the Linux drivers as usual. <laughs> and uh, it's like, okay, what are, what cards are coming? What are they supposed to support? And they found some entries for what was possibly an RDNA 4 GPU uh, that would be a little chunkier than uh, what we've seen with the 7000 series because they were they went very conservative with the 7000 series uh which is good it kept the price down the 7800 XT is a damn good value card for what it is uh yes it but is yeah it, and, and people were kind of looking forward so, so are you going to make a bigger one are you going to make one that's like high end with more performance good uh, technically they're good <laughs> Uh, they're already good for the mid range because AMD they found themselves in a position where Nvidia is just alone at the top. Intel is not good enough to compete, so they basically are in the middle there, uh, acting like the meat in that particularly soggy sandwich. And yeah, it's it's comfortable, so they they, they, would, would, they don't really have a reason sandwich? to. <laughs> Did you eat a sandwich with one green slice of bread and one blue <laughs> slice of bread with some red shit in the middle? Okay, you, you, it's like lettuce, uh, blue cheese, no, no, no. and some meat in the middle. <laughs> some red meat in the middle. There you go. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Two different slices of bread. One is blue, one is green. <laughs> it's just strawberry jam. Mold. <laughs> I think it's always interesting to take a look at this, man. Like, like what could have been, man? But, like, it's AMD. AMD is uh, shown with RDNA 3 that, you know, at first we thought, okay, they got that, they got that, and they got one in the same ballpark as a 4090 and amd even came out and they're like we could have made one that was as fast but it would have been like insane but since that like everything we've heard about rdna 4 like we're we're just gonna chill out you know we're not gonna compete against nvidia it's not gonna be worth their time and uh they're just content being in second place why because there's no third player right (laughs) there there is there's like some mutated battle mage thing just crawling out (laughs) intel currently is a very good entry-level purchase because they're cheaper than the bulk of amd's offerings unless you go for the really bad ones the 6400 uh (laughs) but yeah no intel has basically the low end locked down at this point and amd is king of the mid-range and nvidia is very much alone at the top so, yeah, they're not actively competing with one another, which I think is the ideal position that they want to be in. <laughs> well, you gotta look at it, man. Like, Intel's, like, not even Intel, but, like, AMD's price... Oh, no, let's get it right, Ben. NVIDIA's price performance, we were talking about this uh, at the beginning of the stream uh, before we started recording, is so out of whack. Nothing's a great value. And, like, all AMD has to do is, like... But the problem with AMD right now, and they're like, yeah, neither are ours, but it's $50 cheaper. <laughs> Uh, they actually lowered the price. the uh, The seventy eight hundred XT, the the one that Jordan got, the Hellhound. Of course, um, Jordan got it. Yeah, that, that, that's just how it works, right? Like, I mean, I knew it, that was coming. 
Yeah. And anytime <laughs> I buy something, it is either horribly broken two weeks later or they release a cheaper version like immediately. Yeah. No, they lowered the price. They, they, they straight up lowered the price. Uh, the MSRP is now like five, uh, 460 or $470 US. Mm. So that's a genuinely good price for what is a very, very nice GPU. So yeah, th- again, they, they're not competing with one another and <laughs> that's, they're not, they get, they're doing two different things, man. Like I, I want to live in a world where AMD is striving to compete with NVIDIA. I want to, yeah, I, I kind of want to live in that world where like NVIDIA has to take a generation or two and go like, wait, how do we compete with this? But well, this yeah, is one of the things we got to look at though, because Intel's coming in, Intel's not going after NVIDIA here. Yeah. <laughs> Intel's coming after AMD. A- Intel wants to come in and fuck up AMD's launch. Now, AMD's going to have to get creative here because, like, that's it's, it's good. That's what's going to benefit us. Nvidia's just going to do whatever they're going to do. They're they're going to make the biggest, baddest. You know, they've been well. They, they got the enterprise market cornered now, right? Like, they yeah. they kind of don't. They're they're out of the competition. They like Google in, or Microsoft Nvidia's or whoever, proven so that, that they can sell out of not even in like you know. uh pandemic crunch time you know scarcity mm-hmm. stuff they can just reliably where you can just go to the shelf and buy one sell twelve hundred dollar graphics card all day long mm-hmm. like they don't yeah. give a fuck about <laughs> us man <laughs> They're like, yeah you want you want you want that cuda you gotta pay yeah you want give us CUDA? that or you want to be you know you want to have the actual highest end gpu for that generation yeah <laughs> something NVIDIA that blows my up. mind i mean i follow that subreddit or nvidia Daily, like a couple of people like, hey, here's my 4090 that I bought. And I'm like, I would I'm be in the fetal position if I dropped $1,200 on a video what? card, man. And you know, you okay, know, take they that upgraded from their like 30 quadro or, you know, an A series, like an A series, like, all right, fine. But, but you, you, you know, there is a non zero percent of them like, oh, yeah, I upgraded from my 3090 Ti. It was just a little too slow for me. So I upgraded mm-hmm. to my port. Mm-hmm. I needed a second one from HTPC. Yeah. There's all there's always going to be those people that want the fastest GPU for the generation. It's a very s- small minority, but a very uh, wealthy but very, one. But very wealthy minority, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you get, like, if you're in that position of, like, you, you can get, like, the XTX version of AMD. I'm like, did you just go ahead and spend the extra money? Go ahead and get 49 Maybe I can get two XTXs. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh... The jump between a $700 7900 XTX mm-hmm. and a 1200 4080 or a 1800 mm. <laughs> Yeah. And again, what always rattles me is these fucking cards cost as much as a fucking... They, they, they cost more than the computer they go into these days. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it, is, it used to be the CPU is the most expensive thing. Now, CPUs have followed what has traditionally been the exact trend of all electronics since all of recorded history of getting faster and cheaper. Mm, yes. <laughs> this is weird. This is why it catches us a little sideways when we're seeing this one particular piece of technology not really getting any faster, but getting a whole lot more expensive. And we're just all sitting. You got to sit back and just collectively go, no, this is the new world, motherfucker. I'm like, fuck this new world. Then I'm just not going to buy a GPU. I'm not alone. <laughs> when think yep. of this. I'm just like, no, this is how much GPU can get fucked. Um... That's where I'm at I, with the GPU market. I was very much intent on like, okay, I'm going to skip the 7000 series and maybe get one of the 8000s or whatever they happen to uh, call the next generation of AMD cards. But if the rumors are true that the new generation is going to use GDDR6, yeah. which I already have a card that uses GDDR6, I think I'm just going to keep the 6700 XC for yet and, another and, generation. It comes and, back and, to what would you be upgrading it for other than just to have the yeah, new and, thing. Where's the And and, and yeah, re- realistically, like Elden Ring 2 comes out, whatever. It's not going to require you to buy an entirely new video card for it. Probably like. not. No, I, 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 okay, admittedly, Elden Ring was th- the moment that I realized, oh, the 1080 is not good enough. The the, the DX12 well, uh, performance on Linux is shit. And, and, and to, to that point, <laughs> I, I I fucking stuck with that 1080 Ti for seven fucking years. That yeah. was a great goddamn card. And <laughs> you I you rode I that 1080 Ti longer than I rode my 980, and I rode my 980 into the ground. Yeah. Why? Because I spent five hundred dollars. I on spent that thing. A, yeah, I spent a thousand dollars on that thing. Yeah, if yeah. I bought a 4090, I would not buy another GPU for like another thirty years. Like, <laughs> but when I bought the yeah. 980. Um, yeah, 980. It was the most expensive video card NVIDIA made. 
Well, when, when I bought my 980, it was feasible that like, oh, I'm going to go pick up my monitor. I need a video card to drive it. Can I have that 980, please? And that was the reasonable purchase. Yeah, then they made the 980 Ti. And they're like, get wrecked, then. And I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. All right, fine. And then they released well, well, the wait, Titan. Wait, wait, wait. Uh- <laughs> yeah, well, that, 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 was, that was because, again, that was because I bought a 980. And they're like, fuck you, Jordan. You don't get to have nice things. Ah, uh, I know. Get off our lawns. Speaking, uh, speaking, speaking, speaking of Nintendo. Dude. Um, yeah, yeah. Right, right to it, man get rip that bandaid off so yeah uh yuzu you might have heard of it it's that nintendo switch emulator that you're not allowed to distribute anymore or talk about because it enables piracy and nintendo really 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 thinks that piracy is a bad thing um other people they don't though and um because yuzu was open source it is very easy to make a copy of the source code and host it elsewhere uh the problem is a couple folks decided they were going to host it on the exact same site that it was previously removed from really I know, right? So uh, N- Nintendo, they're patient. They they waited a little bit, and they they waited until um they they hit a sort of critical mass. They waited and until they, they issued, issued. like, are you guys done yet? Go make yeah, this yeah, easy yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah, and, and and then at once, big old band wave. It's a DMCA wave. It's like a band wave, except there's more layers involved. What what was the number? Eight thousand five hundred thirty five DMCA yep. takedown requests simultaneously to all of those GitHub repos. It's like Salt Bay, but with yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So, well, I have a question. Can okay. we be what, what, weaponized? What, what, can we weaponize the <laughs> just get a company to DMCA themselves to exhaustion? Well, no, 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 what's no, no, the no, tipping no, no. point? No, what you what you do is if you don't like an open source project, you open up a pull request that just includes the entire tree of Yuzu in there, and then the project <laughs> will get taken down. <laughs> that, that, that's that's how you, that's how you weaponize that shit. Um, but yeah, so fellas, ladies, NB folks, turns out that if you're going to be hosting software, if you're if you're going to be hosting source code that may be a little, let's call it legally spicy, maybe you don't put it on a manage hosted for-profit service just don't mm. it's, it's it's really easy to run a git server um you literally just need to install git and ssh and you can figure that shit out uh i'm not i'm not advocating for this but i'm just saying <laughs> it would be a lot more safe and you wouldn't have your project i like how somebody was like you know, we're, we're doing good we're looking at the forks we get yuzu um yuzu mainline or yuzu android downloads yuzu mirror all right Early access files. All right, pineapple Linux. You tried to hide that shit, son. Um. Shwee. <laughs> Shwee. Shwee. <laughs> Dude, can um. we get Shwee on the podcast? I want to talk. To, I want to talk to him. Uh, what do we think about that, though, man? Like that's uh, fucking predictable. But yeah, consider moving off of uh, GitHub and uh, get, don't worry, GitLab pub, pub, will come yeah, down on you GitLab. just as hard. Yeah. Don't, yeah, m- m- maybe host that shit yourself and not mm-hmm. make it Actually, publicly yeah, available. Actually, yeah, no, don't, don't don't put it on GitLab because when GitLab get DMCA's, they uh, lock your so, account. So <laughs> here, here's the thing: if you're gonna run your own GitLab server using the open source one, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think Nintendo does? Then they just go after your ISP. Nintendo like literally just sends a hitman to your house. Uh, like you get a knock on the door and it's fucking Mario dressed as Anton Chigure with the fucking gas gun. See, you think it's like that, but <laughs> Intel's Intel's not that brutal. The, the guy breaks into your oh, house. Oh, Intel's not Nintendo. Not Intel, uh, Nintendo. Uh, yeah. Nintendo's like, they're more civilized than that, dude. They play the long game. What they do is you wake up, dude's gonna break into your house. He's gonna unplug the Ethernet jack from the back of your modem and leave. But he's gonna do it every <laughs> fucking day. When you, oh, no, wake up. You, when you wake up and there's just like a severed Yoshi head in your bed. Yeah, I mean, there's a note scribble on the wall. It's like quit by you know, DMCA. It's just yeah. unplugged Ethernet cord. You're like, wait yeah. a minute. Stop. Right. <laughs> and he replaces all of your SSDs. Yeah. With HDDs. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. And it, he coats like your bread and whatever food you have lying about. In the Nintendo child uh, tasty the, Maddie the, stuff? The, the, the bitter one? No, he just, yes. he just like doses all your shit with psilocybin because <laughs> Super Mario has a shit ton of mushrooms. Give me a minute. You, I, you, I you need to go set something up real quick, you Jordan, if I'm getting free shrooms out of this. How many do I need to run? I, I, I don't know. We, we, we got to start running GitLab servers out of our Wee. basement. <laughs> when you get Yuzu. All right. Well, Se- Sega does what Nintendo don't, right? Oh man, Robot Kartnick, Dr. Robotnik, that's right, much beloved children's character Jim Carrey has written. <laughs> I, there's a whole generation that just does, 
associates Jim Carrey with uh, Dr. Robotnik now, right? That's it? Yes. Nothing else? <laughs> That's already been two movies in the head, so yeah. They, they're going to go back and watch um, Ace Ventura, and they're like, look, it's Dr. Robotnik, and yeah, they are. Jordan's <laughs> having a tough time with this. They're, they're, they're just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just imagining, like, Dr. Robotnik coming out of the ass of the fucking rhino from Ace Ventura 2, <laughs> but it's, like, in fucking full costume. Yeah. And, and that, just, that just makes me smile. This is what we're talking about, man. It's out. Ring Racers. This has been in development for five years, man. And it is from the Kart Crew Deaths. You know, they did uh, Sonic Racers, uh, blah, 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 blah. Here, here we go. Boom. There's a trailer. You can take oh, a look at it. Much um, VHS. Tons of independent contributors. Uh, yeah, SRB2 Kart, horribly named. The Sonic Robo Blast 2. Dude, and some of the Doom and Doom Legacy teams have worked on it. Why? Because it's a Doom engine, man. Like, what the absolute hell? I'm not even kidding. This is all done in Doom. It is fucking amazing. That's all I can say about it. Uh, local split screen multiplayer up to four players and online up to 16. Latest version. Now, this just got released earlier this week, but they even gave it a point one. to let you unlock that tutorial, man. Don't you fucking... All right, I'm looking at you, Talos Principal. Who remembers that? Nah. <laughs> What do you use the Talos principle for? One thing and one thing only. Benchmark. What was locked behind a you need to complete these levels before you can access it? Benchmark. Get right. Well, yeah, because the benchmark like shows you how to fucking levels. solve those levels. That's why. <laughs> That's the problem. It's, it's the cheat code. Yeah, but if I'm trying to run the benchmark, like, hey, let me make the... I don't like it when a game dev um, makes the decision of, like, no, you got to do it like this. What was that... Ho- Remember the game we had to play that the guy wouldn't add um, mouse support to it because part of his artistic uh, vision was only to make it only worked with the keyboard and it was a 3D game. I remember this because this is bugging. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, like, no, th- this definitely sounds like a thing that happened. I, yeah. I just don't remember the name of it. There were just uh, people who were like, because there, no mouse look. No, you had to use left, up, down, left, and right on the keyboard. It was clearly built in. It was a Blender game. I remember something like that, but I do not remember. Any specifics about the game? All right. um, uh, Adam, for, for me, it's like, you got to play through the tutorial before you can get to the option screen. That is like the ultimate bullshit. Like, let me yes. let me fucking set up the game, please, before right. making me go through anything, right? Like, Well, Jordan, yeah. you don't have to complete the tutorial now, do you? You don't. Um, included with the game files, if you install this from source, like a real hacker, is yeah. a little text file that has all the passwords in it. Uh, and you can enter it to bypass it. I'll just tell you it w- right now. It's Gaster. Gaster, Gaster. Is, the pa- Gaster is the password. Uh, and you can just skip the tutorial. And then you get an achievement for skipping the tutorial. So that's... Uh, <laughs> I, 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 not- I noticed that as well. But um, yeah, it compiles pretty easily. Um, as Ven mentioned, there are some missing dependencies in the show notes. Uh, if you want to copy those out. Um, but yeah, once w- it has some pretty minimal dependencies. Though. Otherwise, compiles within like a couple minutes. And SDL2 magic, baby, right? Like... I started the game up, and once upon a time, I come from the, we, we all come from the era of, <laughs> you launch a game, and you're like, oh, I forgot to plug in my controller. Do Time to turn it. off the game and like, relaunch uh, it. But these days, these days you just plug shit in, and it's like, it works. It and all works. the controls are insanely bad. It's always weird when you see that shit going by in the terminal, too. You're like, huh, all right. And it's like, oh, you, you discovered the controller. Neat. All right. All right. Yeah. Huh? The, the hot plugging was a bit of a hot issue for a while. Thanks, Valve. <laughs> They're basically the driving force behind that, but uh, besides looking a lot like Mario Kart on the SNES, um, th- that tutorial, it, it, it gave me questions, <laughs> because once you get into the carts and you have to do the adventure bits, and you have to effectively figure out how to progress a lot... It's like, how about you just let me drive the cart around so I can figure out how the racing of your cart racing game works, <laughs> please? This, so, so, you you got to go on our adventure, Pedro. I don't want so, adventure. I hated adventure in Super Tux Kart. So oh <laughs> I just God. wanted the yeah. racing. I think everybody's like driving around like that once. They're like, yeah, fuck this. Um, yeah. I don't think I even booted up adventure in Super Tux Kart, honestly. It's there, man. <laughs> yes. It's so uh, the single player mode that's not just single race check this out if you want to download it uh, of course it's on github but you'll need to have the asset pack you got to put that in your home folder obvious instructions put it together compile it but if you're an arch user or more importantly running a steam deck it's on flat up yeah you know those of you don't want to have to worry about compiling anything 
And uh, yeah, it's cross-platform. It, it works on the Windows. It works on the Macs. Doesn't work on Haiku. Yet. Yet. It might if Pedro have to, it might be <laughs> enough, maybe, maybe one day. I cannot explain. Uh, look on our Uncut channel because I, I, I cannot explain just like knowing that this is the Doom engine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hurts my but, brain. These, these but, are just mad human beings. It makes sense though. Like, ra- like there's, there's not that much of a difference between like a racing game and a shooter, honestly. No, like, there's not. And yeah. considering how fast uh, Doom Guy moved in the original games, I, you just put a cart there. And there. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it seems strange at first. Then you think about it, and it's like, no, well, all the pieces are there. You could, you could easily do that. I yeah. gotta say, nothing but good things about it. I want everybody to go check it out. There'll be a link in the show notes. Head over to linuxgamecast.com. If you're watching the video, it's down in the description. And one thing the Sonic Robotnik kart racing game does, Pedro Mateus, is... Convince me that the cart stuck to the damn truck. Yes. <laughs> Unlike our next topic. <laughs> there, there, well, yeah, I already mentioned uh, Super Tax Cart having the adventure mode, but hey, wouldn't you know it? They're actually doing a bit of a update. Uh, version 1.5 is coming this summer. We'll, uh, I'll be looking forward to it because I, I always try whenever there's a big new release. I always try Super Tax Cart. Uh, they now have, uh, you, you can set a maximum FPS, finally. <laughs> well, I remember, uh, you know, the, you may not remember the LGC forums, RIP in peace. Uh, but yeah, the, the, at one point we had a bit of a thread going where everyone was trying uh, Super Tux Cart, and it, for everyone, seemed to cap out at around 110 FPS. Apparently that's not the case anymore because it justifies having a proper um, frame limiter. They're also adding uh, new LOD settings to prevent pop-in. So if you have stuff farther away, you get like a low-res LOD model. Uh, there's a benchmark mode, which Super that will be bench. interesting. <laughs> The, 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 I, I am genuinely curious what a benchmark mode will look like in Super Tux Cart. A uh, finer control of audio levels and uh, minor bug fixes and improvement, which is pretty good. <laughs> I'm not against it. I'm not. I'm watching the uh, some of the development video, and I'm like, okay, it's a thing. It's just ah, you know, we we. I remember when this game before it had the first graphical overhaul. I mean, it it might actually be fun to go back and try to get that up and running because it, it was like some 90s 3d polygons it was kind of awesome when you think about it but back then it looked very dated it looks really good i mean it could use like a little more lighting or something to that effect but 2.0 supposedly where it's going to get a little more interesting they're going to be doing hq tracks high quality tracks and improvements to gameplay question mark that's what they say and a bunch of these features are already available in the experimental branch so if you want to yolo that you too can log in and find that one guy that does nothing but play super tux cart and realize that you have to set a password on your online server in the after shows and because yeah, <laughs> we ran into that one guy not only is he's the one guy who can just school everyone he's also a shit talker yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you see how the new just moved around though it's like the track i i wouldn't be surprised if that's how it's uh the mechanics of it. the track moves under the um player you just you're just too static you never move forward or back you're always just that, there that's the thing and the turning around the camera the, the, that's been my one complaint for a long time is that the camera's a little too stiff behind mm-hmm. the character relax that a little bit slow it down so that when me, you turn me, it doesn't yeah. automatically jerk to the sides like a little no. bit left and right i mean yeah you know what all of us can go pound sand and pound tuxes and carts and shit like that because you know we're not contributing and i get that we're just yes. trying to give you our our opinions <laughs> uh at least me and pedro i'll say because me and pedro play a lot of racing games and i just want more people to play it ultimately there we go it's super tux cart it's free it genuinely just runs at every everything at this point it runs on haiku right yes it Super does. Haiku uh, it's an older version if you're just getting the one from the haiku repos it's an older version but you can build the new one it runs poorly because haiku doesn't have any hardware acceleration no gpu acceleration to speak of so you have to have a really beefy single thread cpu for it to work properly okay. but it'll do it <laughs> what about my uh risk 5 like 128 core machine 
Uh, no, the, those uh, single cores are not good enough. <laughs> not good enough? <laughs> no, it's like yeah. e- even... Um, Dude, do you know what I saw in Box last night when I was like, uh, like Doom browsing on eBay just to like buy something to say about something? I found a Phenom X4 Black Edition. Ooh. New in box, unopened for 23 Wait, bucks. Did, did it have the metal tin? Was it one of those? <laughs> it was the black box. I don't know if it was metal or not. This I, is like I re- unopened. I, I remember one of them came in the metal tin, but I don't. I don't no, uh, my, mine, uh, yours, the one I gave you came in metal. I kept the metal tin. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> ah, damn you. Damn you. <laughs> I still got my metal tin. In my, yeah. That's when AMD had to do shit like that because you were you clearly weren't buying it for the CPU. Yeah, you 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 were buying it for a place to store your weed, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Keep up the fantastic work, Super Tux Cart. Uh, it's a great game. Also, would you thought by now that they? I desperately want them to like make the um, football game good. Yeah, that, playable. That, 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 that that would be that would be nice if they like actually like refine that camera control. I, you know, I'm still genuinely surprised we haven't seen, like, any Rocket League clones. We have fucking Stumble Buddies. Dude, like, I went looking for, like, Rocket League clones, like, no shit, two weeks ago. I was just, like, I was, like, Googling it, too. I'm like, did anyone ever, like, just make one car, car close soccer, enough? Yeah, like. Yeah, even paid. I wasn't, like, looking for open source projects. I'm yeah. like, no, nobody's really fucked around with it. Fascinating. Which is depressing, because Epic, that's another, that was one of the early casualties. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now you're on the Epic store. Like, that's still a better love story than Helldivers? Question mark. Well, <sighs> cer- well, we'll see once they start enforcing the yes. PlayStation account. Well, we're we're not here to talk about Helldivers. We're here to talk about League of Legends, that game that famously runs on Linux without we're issue. Talk, talk about donuts. You got a donut like that? Yeah, yeah mm. donut. Mm, I, you know what? I, I I I would like a donut. So uh, it fi- it finally happened. League of Legends players on Linux get fucked. You can't play anymore. Vanguard anti cheat has rolled out, and uh, the bug reports are coming in. People are uh, people are saying that it's doing some stuff to their computers that they don't like. Uh, end users are reporting that their systems are quote unquote bricked. Um, there are a bunch of client Cheater issues detected. being reported. Yeah, uh, apparently, apparently the band waves are going out. Like, apparently, it's doing its job. All of these responses from Riot, or to Riot regarding the rollout, have uh, has caused like a little bit of a, a little bit of a he said he said she said, said situation happening, and so that prompted Riot to respond. And I read through their response, and it got me thinking because loathe am I to side with Riot Games on anything, but I also can't take the opportunity to not shit on some Windows users in the process. Okay. So. Um, apparently, uh, Vanguard does require that you enable FTPM 2.0 on your Windows 11 machine. Now, many people, uh, who installed Windows 11 on their machines, uh, either set up, set it up in classic BIOS mode, or they disabled FTPM, which would require them to switch to the, uh, to the UEFI boot mode, which means that your system's not going to boot because your MBR is not compatible. So... I'm, I'm not going to say that this is every single issue, but I would not be surprised if a fair number of these so-called random bricking incidents are a result of Windows power users not knowing their systems as well as they think they did. Um, also, they do bring up that you don't need to turn on secure boot. But as I said, people are still running into to, uh, client issues. They're still getting rejected. This is not a super pain-free rollout. And again, the question is, do we really need the kernel level anti-cheat? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Riot seems to think so, but... Ah, uh, man, yeah. I don't know, man, because I, I saw that they got a little post here. You know, an update. Here it is. Check this out. <laughs> not point, not 3% of League of Legends players have reported issues. Now, I'm not exaggerating the numbers. I might be misremembering by a few digits, but somebody on the Reddit thread, which was a problem because there was a... On the League of Legends Reddit thing, there was a mega thread for bug reports. Posts were getting deleted by mods. Not yes, a good look. There, there, there are a ton of them. Yeah they're, yeah, they're missing. Yeah, not a good look. But somebody did the maths on that zero point zero three percent with how many total players. It was something like that. Doesn't sound like a lot until you realize how many people play this damn game. It was something to tune up forty thousand people. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, so the twelve million people supposedly <laughs> actively playing League of Legends. So yeah, <laughs> that's a few and, and, people. 
<laughs> and, and they did they did have similar issues the last time they rolled out the this um for uh, this anti sheet for uh, Valorant. Mm. I mean, it's not a problem though, Pedro. Like you just you, you just uh, need to install the better anti sheet. Right? <laughs> That's the thing. I I don't need confer- more confirmation bias of just how bad client side anti cheat is. I've been shouting that it's not a thing that should be done. If anything, you should stop fucking with your players slash customers oh slash God. users. I was experiencing boot loop issues. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of people, and one of the uh, people that were reporting that their system wasn't booting, they fixed it by removing the CMOS battery and putting it back in. So th- there is probably something to what Jordan said, but it's not the fault of players, especially the legitimate players who are just running the game because they want to play the video game. It's not their fault that the game is that easily exploitable. That's the fault of the developers. That's why fucking anti-cheats should run server-side, not client-side. Especially not Ring Zero kernel-level drivers that you need to load to play a fucking video game. But it's not its not on all the time, Pedro. It's just loaded into memory. Yeah, it, it's just running all the time. It may not be doing anything. We'll see about that in a few uh, months when someone finds, wait a second, why is uh, the anti-cheat all of a sudden scanning all of my folders? What the fuck? Oh, going no, that, on? That, was, that was the uh, hacking software that you downloaded on top of it. Yeah. Try to get around it. Well, <laughs> yes, that, that, of that, course. That, 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 that's what you get for installing the latest version of XZ, man. Like. <laughs> then we got these motherfuckers. I'm reading through the comments on the uh, League of Legends uh, subreddit, and we got this one dude. Don't be this guy. I officially confirmed that Vanguard has caused an influx of broken hardware in my store. Too many people complaining that their PC won't turn out anymore. Had to replace and fix. Several parts. Bullshit. Get fucked. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 yeah, that is a wonderfully sorry, specific statement. Work yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's not how that works, dumbass. Uh, my, my, my uncle works for Nintendo and Microsoft, mm-hmm. and he gave me a PC that was bricked by Riot. And Right. I mean, I understand you want attention on the internet, but like, come on, find a better way than this. Uh, you're not helping anybody. <laughs> Vanguard, game crashing. Yeah, the, these are just coming in from like, you know, right over the top like one hour ago. Yeah. The, people the, are like, yeah, lo- lo- lots crashing. of client errors. Um. It, that okay is like software errors like i can't launch the game anymore or it's crashing when it gets into a match i 100 percent believe that mm-hmm. because if you're loading a kernel driver to play your video game yeah that's touching parts of the system especially on windows which is iffy as uh, operating systems go uh you probably don't want to actively mess with it. But Man, hey. Come on, listen. The only way to actually get this League of Legends right, if I can listen to me, you need to take a note from our friends over at Sony. All right? You need to connect your game to the PSN network because yes. that, was, that has been told to me this week. That is how you, you know, handle cheating and manage security, even though Sony's been hacked, um, I think what, it was something what, like what, 11 what, times what? in the last decade. <laughs> When did Sony <laughs> first add encryption to their credit card transactions on PlayStation Network? What was that twenty thirteen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after the big hack of twenty, yeah, twenty thirteen. Now, just in case you've been sleeping in, in, under in a that, rock that organ, yeah. kids, <laughs> we're talking about Hell Divers too. All right, yes, it, uh, went from universally Re- loved to mostly, mostly negative nice. recent and hard enough to get mixed within twenty four hours. Now. That's going to be a big down arrow if we go down to the uh, Steam charts, probably. Let's take a look at this. God damn. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> damn. Look at that. I wonder when they made a bad decision. Wow. Uh, did they punch kittens all of a sudden? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, they just put out an announcement to say at the end of May, everyone's going to be required to create a PlayStation account to play their PC game that's on Steam. In their defense. <laughs> God damn it, Sony, I gotta stand up for you <laughs> a little bit. That's always been on the damn page. That has. They had the the thing to say, okay, since it's like a this, new release. This is their go to the Wayback Machine. That's been there since a day fuck mothering one. Yes, but they specifically allowed people to not do that uh-huh. while the, it wasn't the game working. during the release window. To allow as many people to get the game going and see Sony's official play. statement. Actually, the Helldivers are like, we didn't, it wasn't working, is what they said. They didn't say anything right. about it. <laughs> so, whatever okay. fanfic you're on about, and that's not what they said. 
I'm just going from the uh, the post that they made about the enforcement, which is when the negative reviews started. Yeah, the Sony thing wasn't connected and it wasn't set up, and they finally got it working. Was part of the announcement there. It's now and, functional. Uh, it's, still, it's 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 still poopy. It's still it's still not. It great. is. It's shit. <laughs> Do you read the? Uh, this is a serious question to everybody. Like, leave us a comment on this. I'm sure somebody's got a hot take. We might talk about it on the show next week. Do you read the shit that is in a completely different color on the Steam page when you're buying a game? Yeah. I know I do. Like, especially like third party DRM, especially Linux users, because we can get a look at that and be like, that's probably not going to fucking run. Better go over yeah, ProtonDB. Like- mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, I do. usually going to ProtonDB before you buy the game is a, a very good idea. And then here's another one. Like, this is kind of like the warning. This is the fucking smorgasbord, isn't it? DRM. All right. Oh, God damn it. Third party login Bethesda, right? We're thinking about like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> then, mm-hmm. then you get the third party EULA on top of that. You're like, motherfucker. Okay. A bunch of games have the third party EULA that no one reads. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just saying that's like a little fucking trio of like bullshit, right? Yeah. There. But yeah, the, the, the DRM, the, the DRM, as it turns out, wasn't that big an issue. There was like for the first week, it didn't really work because Valve wasn't accounting for it. Mm-hmm. But the moment they did, they released a Proton update and then it worked. Uh, and the. Yeah, the. the the PlayStation thing, well, Sony is going to find out uh, why people don't like uh, having Epic accounts to play games that are on Steam. <laughs> Sony ain't going to find out shit. Let me tell you how yeah, this so, is so, so, Sony doesn't care. Sony has all of those PlayStation customers that are happily registering for their PSN accounts. Why is this? Why do they want to do this? Well, they want whatever data, like big fucking deal, but they also want to boost the numbers for the PSN network. Yeah. Here's the thing. When you got a game that's cracked, okay? Here's what Sony's probably going to do. They're going to like, hey, because like with the big hubbub right now, it's like, we should get a refund for them enabling the thing that it said was there. Uh, I, I'm not against it. I agree with you. So don't anybody get fucking mad at me. I'm like, yeah, you, I, I want a fucking refund too, especially like I don't pay attention to this shit. And it just showed up. Like I said, we might be a little bit special as Linux users just because we learned over the years to keep an eye on shit that's just not going to run, especially in the pre-refund days. These days, not that big a deal. Steam refunds, you're like, all right, whatever. I'll, I'll fucking try it out anyway. This, Sony's going to go, here's your refund. Here you go. Easy to get. Then, you know, like when you see the two dogs barking between the fucking fence, yeah, and they you know, loud shit, and you pull the fence away and they just kind of stop. It's like, there it is, motherfucker. Go ahead and get your refund. That's the thing. Sony doesn't do refunds on the PlayStation Store. They Unless something's gone bomb. really, really wrong. I like know. Cyberpunk. This is what this is what Sony should do, though. <laughs> Just perfect PR right there. Like, get your refund. Yeah, if they decide to do it, because it, yeah, historically Sony has been very much anti-refund. It it took something like Cyberpunk on the PS4. For them to actually do refunds for that one specific They had to equation. create a refund system. <laughs> yeah, that, that, for that's Cyberpunk. How, that's how bad that was. Yeah. Yeah. This, I would say, offer, because uh, you're not going to lose the, the people who are playing this aren't going to quit playing it. Yeah. This the, is the, like, the, we just got done talking about what addicts put up with, and it's a lot worse than PlayStation Network, right? They're willing to install yeah. rootkits on their damn systems. <laughs> it's true. I don't know. Sh- share your thoughts. Like, you know, th- this sucks. Would I? Would you? Do you, do you have a problem? There, there's our last little bit on this where we uh, move on. Do you have a problem creating accounts? Because I know I fucking hate it. We talked about this during Truck Mania last night. When you have to create an additional account to play something. And I brought up the example of Wolfenstein, Youngblood. Mm-hmm. Well, and now, and now Bethesda Net is just Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah. So it's like, even we worse. had to create an account. Like, and then we had like this dance that we finally, uh, it's like, we do is we will optimize like the bullshit stack that we had to yeah, go through the, of like going the, to the, the website the logging operations, in, right yeah. then i hate that now do i hate it a little less um have you had these feels you get a game you need an account and you're like god damn press a to create the account done I'm like all right yeah and then you never need to log in again right and then yeah oh, well, then, I, then i go into the settings and find the data hoover switch yeah yeah cut that off for this uh, specific game, if I wasn't a Helldivers at all, 
I probably wouldn't mind because I do technically have a PlayStation account from the PSP days that I haven't logged into in years. <laughs> so, so you mean someone else has a PlayStation account in your, with your name on it? Maybe. No, no, no. I, I, I get the emails on occasion to say, yeah, uh, your account's still here. <laughs> oh, here's still another have, example. Right? Epic accounts, right? I mean, I got a couple of games that require Epic accounts or like Epic services and like that you've had to create over the. Yeah, I'm, I don't I don't know. I'll, ge- generally, I'll, I, I don't like doing it. If I really want to play the game, I will. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like these days, it's also really easy to salt your email. So. I mean, it is. And like, I, I get where people are coming from with this. Uh, like they should, uh, I feel bad for the development team, but I mean, you took the fucking Sony money. So I only feel yeah. a little bit bad for you. Uh, what you need to convince Sony, you need to give people something. They're like, give them a fucking trophy or some shit. Yeah. G- give, give, give them the super democracy PlayStation icon on your, right. on your thing. Yeah. Make it some cosmetic bullshit and be like, yeah, we're sorry, but here's the thing, you know, here's the trinket and shut up. Take, take your complacency DLC. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to talk to us about what you got going on up to and including, hey, do you don't mind these accounts? You just throw it out there. Like, I just give them fake data anyway. It doesn't matter to me. It's cool. That's cool. Like, uh, send us a note how you do that over at LettingSchemeCast.com. Fill out the contact form. Drop a note under the YouTube video. If you're watching this on Patreon, where you can get the highest quality version of the show ad free and downloadable. Just put it out there in the comment section and take a look at it. And we might feature it right here on this very show. And I thought this was very timely. We all know Truggles Wicks. Paul. Yeah. <gasps> Truggy. Paul, Paul, Paul writes in. He's, you know, sp- speaking of gamers who has have kids, uh, I picked up <laughs> Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the Steam sale. Nice little game, Brad. It runs great on Linux, but I had to create an account with Ubisoft just to get in the game. To be fair, there was a warning on the Steam store page that I missed, but... How is this still a thing? Am I perpetuating the problem by conforming? Should I have been more Stallman and eat more stuff off of my feet uh, and just refunded the game without creating an account? I think, you know, you know, I, I think I think that is ultimately like a, a, a personal decision because like as Ben alluded to, you can just fill out crap data in, in the form. Um, you can generate temporary email accounts. You can salt your own email account so that like if they do you sell can, your data. Most uh, email services offer an option to create an alias. Just yeah, for, the the plus whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> like, to, to see if if anyone starts sending you some weird shit, you can be like, oh, that's who did it. Um. So, uh. But but like, yeah. I I I really I really feel that like in in the year of our Lord twenty twenty four with Epic Online services with with like Steam sockets and Steam networking, you really shouldn't need to have to do this anymore. I get wanting to have your own isolated like multiplayer backend so that you're not reliant on any one service but like also oauth exists you can have authentic you can have authorization from multiple sources and have ha- keep the accounts in line like it's possible to do this as so is a solved problem yeah i mean you kind of nailed it with the uh ubisoft stuff like I didn't even think about that. I'm like all the Ubisoft and Ubisoft is even worse. This is why I'm against the launchers. The only reason you have a launcher in a fucking video game is to try to sell people more shit that they've already given you money. <laughs> Name a launcher that doesn't pop up and it's like, buy some more shit. <laughs> I get Bellarine. rock. Oh yeah. CD project reds just as bad. You got to like wait in it. CD project reds even worse. Rockstar's even worse. Sure. Cause they're slow. Oh yeah. No, the social club is shit. <laughs> Larry and fucking has that for Baldur's gate. You can, turn, you, can, you can turn it off, but, but the, they're, they're not even like buy more DLC. They're just like buy more of our full ass games that will take you like nine years to complete. Right. right. Like, and like, there's really no excuse for a lot of it. Like um, flying spaghetti monster bless each and every one of you that put in the dash new launcher or whatever option to like, just let me get rid of it. And then you got the ones that are like quasi useful. Like, you know, you think like the Spider-Man that has the one to pop up to set options for displays and shit. It's not trying to sell you anything. It's just trying to get you in the game, but it's or, like or the e- just in case one. Or even, even like we hated it at first, but now, now I have fond memories of the unity scream of nope because yeah, you yeah. can at least initialize shit, right? Like, I mean, we want something like that where you can cut it off. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. The, the good dark old days. So yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, are you a part of the problem, Truggy? Absolutely. But, yeah, like Jordan said, it, it it is a personal thing. If you're willing to 
go through all of that bullshit for the sake of playing a game that you like, then yeah, go through the bullshit. I don't remember don't, don't the video um, games on Linux. <laughs> I it's, it's all about that friction, man. Like if you make it work and click a thing, but they want that email address and they, yeah, they, yeah, they, they, yeah, they want you in their sales pipeline. Yeah, for sure. If I'm forced, if I was forced, I bought a game and it's like, no, you got to create an account on this other service. Fuck that! Immediately refund it. Mm. I I'm not doing it. <laughs> cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I was gonna do it for tonight I, I think we did we, we covered everything we didn't have a ton of steam news but we had a lot of regular ordinary news which turned out to be kind of interesting good discussion on uh games and accounts and linking and sony being sony and nintendo being nintendo, nintendo. gonna nintend dude uh 100 so all right uh let's go ahead and cue that music you can find us kicking this nightmare train off 8 30 right here on Twitch now or beforehand. If you're a Death Note Patreon or above, we got an audio channel for our pre-pre-super shows. In, but if you're an executive producer, you even get a live video feed so you can watch the nonsense as it happens. It's what passes for our production meeting, people. Come check it out. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm still on the Twitters or X or Zitters. At Vinstone, we have a Mastodon, mass.linuxgamecast.com. You can find me there at Vin. And of course, there is the blueski.app. And I'm just Vin on that track me down and we technically have a facebook page but i don't even know how to get to it i got a link somewhere that i click on and it goes there i'm jordan i'm and i'm gonna tell you don't be part of the problem be the whole ass problem for more other crucial life advice follow me on mastodon at frojo at mastodon.com frojo at bsky.app or uh at the burning yeah. fool on twitter yeah there we go i did it i've been a part of the problem my entire life <laughs> but then again i never claimed i wasn't a hypocrite so uh at unaccounted for at mass.linuxgamecast.com if you want to uh, join in the hypocrisy. Attempt to communicate with Pedro, yes. <laughs> Use semaphore and only what semaphore. What is Rohit? Rohit, I thought I banned you. Damn it. All right. Time to fire everyone. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Toodles. How about some credits? Ah. Uh. No, you, you need to connect your Sony account to Linux Gamecast. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash Sony. Connect your Discord to the Linux Gamecast <laughs> we Network. Our, ex- our, executive, our advisors, Omega Star Theorem, our executive producers, Barbara M. Scott, Atomic Mike, Tomaj, Dave, Eshep, Ian, Kordaki, 12345, Hoplo, Drummer, and we got to thank our little Nicky fans, Destote, Empty, Eggy, King Bonge, and Turbo, Therese Loth. With the Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Mac, and a Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Darkwing, Sissim, D, Dancing, Joe, the Cresny, and Ogi One. No, Chris. Uh, and the Death Notes, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, there he is. Steven Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2.1, Stephen B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, Mr. Foxdog, Svine, Jalo, and Piper. I could do a so much better job on Frank these days. Find upstanding cannibals, ladies and gentlemen, Carl, Mike, <laughs> Arthur, and Linux, Nero, Aldeus, Noctilus, Johnny, Shep, Gamatron, you know it, DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Dev, and of course, Kai Jorai. Thank you very much. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, well, what? what? Ooh, Jello what you, bondage. What have you said before? Can Jello? <laughs> can Jello do what? No, but a tin can. Shut up, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for real, this time, Dad. Fire. See you next week. Five dudes.